What's going on guys? Let's have a little coffee chat. So, <clears throat> first off, um, as some of you know, um, I had a little medical situation uh, recently where it required pretty much an entire day in the, in the ER, which is not good for me because I don't have entire days worth of time to be wasting in the ER. Um, I'm okay for now. Got a couple of things we've got to get figured out, but we'll we'll get that squared away. It's proof that whether you want it to or not, life is going to happen, right? And you can be doing absolutely nothing, and life will sometimes happen. So there's that. Um, thank you all for the well wishes and all that good stuff. I, I greatly appreciate it. And more importantly than the well wishes, I greatly appreciate your prayer. Um, that's top and foremost. Context and encouragement. <clears throat> so, this is going to dovetail on a video that I recently did that was dovetailing off a video that Swamp Dweller did that I think is really important. And <clears throat> since he last did that video and I did the uh, response to him, I've watched some other videos, some just by happenstance, and it, it further goes on what both he and I were talking about in those videos. And I wanted to expand on that a little more. So if you're not here just to have some coffee and work your brain a little bit, go ahead and click it off now. Um, Y'all are going to have to pause just a second, or rather I'm going to have to pause just a second, because I just realized my camera battery is telling me it's not had enough coffee. So hold on just a second while I rectify this situation. Three, two, one. All right, now that we're back and we got that squared away, um, <clears throat> I wanted to continue that discussion because of some things that I've seen. And this may be completely unimportant to you and whatever, and that's, that's fine, you know, rock on. But I think it's important enough for us to talk about. And again, me sounding like a broken record. I tell you guys all the time when we're talking about this stuff, when it comes to the, the entire ball of this, the just average everyday self-defense side, the long-term preparedness side, um, the whole nine yards. Context is everything. It is so important that you as a viewer, when you're watching videos, when you're reading stuff, etc., that you keep your context in the front of your mind. For guys making videos, this is doubly important for you guys making videos to be very clear about context, what you're talking about, how you're talking about using it, where you're talking about using it, when you're talking about using it, because all that stuff matters and it matters a lot. It's, it's not just you know some little minuscule thing. It's very important. 
as an example, and this isn't any one particular person, it's actually a combination of a few different videos that I've watched. Guys that live Pacific Northwest, higher mountain elevations, be it central part of the country, more uh, north northwest part of the country, uh, etc. There are techniques and equipment that you will utilize because of where you're at, your weather, your terrain, your environment, that will be very different than what I use in my terrain and environment. It doesn't make either one right or wrong other than right or wrong for their respective environments. For example, in inclement weather, the kind of inclement weather gear that you use up in high mountains, Pacific Northwest, that sort of thing, even in the summertime, if I use that same methodology, items, etc., here in the deep south, there's a very good chance it could potentially get me killed. If I went up there and tried to use the same methods, techniques, equipment that I use in the deep south for inclement weather, say during the summer, in that area, it could get me killed. And I see guys that will make videos and they'll talk about watching other people's videos and seeing this stuff and see this just shows me you have no idea what you're doing and what you're talking about when I see somebody showing the contents of their bag and they don't have this or this or this and they're showing their clothing and they don't have this or this or this they're just a bunch of dumbasses you don't know crap you don't know what you're doing well the context matters maybe they do know what they're doing they're just in a totally different environment than you it's a big thing you've got to keep the context in mind when you're both giving advice and listening to other people give advice not to mention okay there are a whole lot of folks that are somewhat to fairly new at this whole thing right and I prefer to give people the benefit of the doubt that they're genuinely trying and there's a lot of people out there that literally fall in the category of they don't know what they don't know okay well unless it's somebody that's blatantly saying I'm all that in a box of chocolate chips and here's my stuff and by God I've got it nailed and uh, I'm a I'm an expert this that and the other unless they're doing that I generally tend to try to give them the benefit of the doubt and maybe what they're showing or don't have or showing that they have is a little lacking in some areas maybe there's things that could, could be doing better Instead of telling them they're a, they're a dumbass and don't know what they're doing, why don't you, if you're making a video and you're the one saying that, why don't you offer some constructive advice? Why don't you say, hey, you need to have this if you're going to be doing this in this kind of weather, this kind of terrain, this kind of situation, etc., etc.? offer constructive advice instead of just denigrating them because what I see happen sometimes is people do the denigration and then later on in the video they'll offer the advice the problem is most folks or a lot of folks at least as soon as you hit the denigration point you've lost them they're turning off and clicking and going somewhere else right right or wrong you're losing them. How about we try to help each other? How about we offer constructive information and knowledge? How about reach out to them, you know, directly, be it 
a video response, via an email, whatever. There, there's all kind of ways to, to try to contact somebody. But just slamming them and coming across as a, as a jackass, it doesn't do anybody any good. It, you could be 100% right, and it makes you sound like an elitist prick. Like, oh, look at me how badass I am. I, I know what I'm doing. You're an idiot because you don't ever do this, that, or the other, or you don't have this, that, or the other. Really, who are you impressing? Who are you impressing? Give context when you're doing that. I can tell you what I'm going to use and do in the deep south in the middle of summer in a pouring down thunderstorm and it'll be completely wrong for somebody at seven, eight, nine thousand foot elevation. Completely wrong. And vice versa. That context matters, people. It matters a lot. Give context and try to uplift people. Help them. Come at it from a positive note. Why does everything have to be negative? Why does everything have to be slamming people? I, I, I don't I don't get that. What do you benefit? I mean, I could come on here and tear people apart for a lot of things that I see, but it doesn't benefit me one iota at all. I don't get it. I, mean, I guess that's kind of just the, the crux of what I wanted to ramble about. <clears throat> Help people out. And keep in mind that your situation may be unique to you. Somebody else's may be unique to them. Different things need to be done. Things need to be done different ways. Things need to be utilized differently. Different items need to be utilized. A lot of variables, people. This stuff isn't black and white. Like, there's not a right way, wrong way, dividing line in the middle, and that's it. it <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to be one to tell you this, but it's not. That's, that's, that's not how it is. There's so much attitude on so many different angles, it's no wonder that people get fed up with trying to be prepared. They've got the 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 holier than I KKK cool kid club bro vets out there slamming them for even trying. Then they've got people within the the preparedness arena telling them they're they're an idiot for what they're doing and Nobody's offering any any constructive help. You, you get why people look at you sideways sometimes? You get why people have some of the attitudes they do? It's a thing. I'm just saying. I mean, you're obviously 100% free to do you. I mean, I'm all about that. I'm just saying that as a whole, it would make a whole lot more sense if, if we got more on the same page and didn't automatically just dismiss what somebody's saying because it's different than what we're doing or automatically dismiss somebody as being an idiot just because maybe they're ignorant and being ignorant for those of you that don't know is not a bad thing ignorance just means you don't know something i am very ignorant when it comes to particle physics i am very ignorant when it comes to rocket science I don't know a whole lot about that, okay? Doesn't mean I'm an idiot. I just don't know. Well, depends on who you ask. There's a lot of people out there to think I am, but, you know, Mama always said stupid is as stupid does. But that's why we drink our coffee and we do us. So, anyway, y'all probably clicked off by now. If you stayed this long, kudos to you. You got a freaking mind in your head that uh, maybe you're maybe you're uh, smarter than the average bear and willing to think about things. So you guys stay safe. Use context on both sides. 
uplift and help each other. And let's try to get as many people ready for the absolute craptastic fecal matter show that's being forced upon us at a very rapid rate. Stay safe, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.